How's it going, pipe smoking community? I'm the Piper, and today I'm going to be talking about Missouri Meerschaum's uh, Great Dane Pipe Tobacco. Uh, this is a tobacco that came um, with a pipe, um, Missouri Meerschaum. It's kind of like a holiday set, uh, six millimeter filter corn cob pipe with a nice white tip on the end, a mouthpiece, um, and I didn't know it actually came with this, so I'm excited to try it out. Uh, it says right here um, that it's a deep, sweet Cavendish blend with notes of dark cherry and fragrant vanilla. I'm excited to try this. I actually am genuinely excited. Um, I have the review here uh, on tobaccoreviews.com. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I generally use that website for all my tobacco reviews just to kind of give you guys a brief description so I don't butcher it. Um, but it says right here, and, and bear with me as I read this to you guys, but the Missouri Meerschaum Great Dane Pipes are their take on the Danish designs. So when we wanted to make a tobacco with the same name, we thought a Danish-inspired aromatic would be the best choice. This blend consists of a good portion of gently steamed black Cavendish, select Virginias, and some white burley, which have been topped with a smooth and rich combination of a deep, dark cherry without the sharpness of a typical... Uh, Maraschino flavor, that's a word I haven't seen in a minute, and warm, and warm notes of vanilla and caramel for any easy smoking blend with a lightly sweet flavor and amazing aroma. Now, I butchered that one word, um, but you get the gist of it. Uh, <laughs> anywho, um, it's a super snowy day here in New England. We are currently going through a snowstorm. So uh, we're about to get two feet of snow, uh, which we've seen worse, but you know, it's 2023, so people freak out about anything nowadays. Um, but yeah, if the lights flicker a little bit, I apologize. <laughs> Hopefully we don't lose power. Um, but I figured, hey, I'm trapped inside, might as well smoke a pipe and review a new tobacco for you guys. Um, so if you guys have this, feel free to pack up your favorite uh, pipe with this tobacco um, and let's review it together. All right, so it comes in this, you know, one and a half ounce bag. Uh, yep, one and a half ounce bag. And just like the other ones, it has a obnoxious plastic film around it. But I'm assuming it's just to keep it fresh. Uh, when you open it, you are hit with a, almost like a walnut tea, or a walnut, like a nutty smell. But you get hit with a cherry and vanilla and almost, dare I say, Fig Newton smell. You get that a lot with the cherries. You always just get a Fig Newton smell. Anyway, you can definitely see Cavendish in it. Uh, how how can I tell that this Cavendish? I'll tell you. Uh, if you ever look at tobacco, uh, see if I can kind of show this. See the like the really dark specks in there? That's that's Cavendish. So when you see the dark specks in there, that's when you know it's a Cavendish. It's usually going to be a sweet blend. Um, the more Cavendish, the sweeter. I mean, I have a blend. It's a Sutliff. I forget which one it is, but Sutliff just makes a like straight up Cavendish um, tobacco, which is delicious. But it's more meant to be added as a blender because um, <laughs> it's it's just Cavendish. Um, it smells good. It's pretty moist. It is moist. You know. You, Got some clumping. See that? Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a tobacco man? Uh, anyway. Um, stay hydrated, folks. Let's pack the bowl. A little sprinkle here. A little sprinkle there. Sprinkle here, sprinkle there, sprinkle everywhere. All right. Now, if there's a tobacco, a specifically a cherry and vanilla tobacco that you guys uh, enjoy, feel free to leave it in the comment below um, for any recommendations, any, any, no, I always say leave a comment. Don't be shy because uh, the community is really nice. They're really helpful and 
you know, with the pipe smoking community kind of dying out, we don't want it to die out. We want to help out as much as possible. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel because, I mean, I'm not an expert by any means, but I'm, I, I, I know what I'm kind of doing. So I kind of, so that's where it's like, I, you know, knowing that it's a dying thing, uh, some would say I have a big heart. Uh, some would say, I don't know why, but I just felt like I just needed to show my education and show as much knowledge as possible. Um, so that, that way, uh, people can, can enjoy it and learn more about it. Um, yeah, kind of be, kind of be a scholar in a way. Anyway, pack it up, light it up. Mm. Wow, this company did it right. Don't mind me as I kind of puff on this. I'm just trying to get the flavor profile here. I'm really shocked at how sweet it is. You get the cherry, you get the vanilla, it's very subtle. I could see this being as good as Molto Doce in a way. This is a, this is slapping. This slaps. It's not like, like, don't get me wrong, like the flavors aren't necessarily, like, it's not like, wow, that's cherry and vanilla, but it's sweet. You know, you don't get any perfume. I don't know if you guys have seen my, my, um, my Chow Cherry Bomb. That bombed. Um, that is not my favorite tobacco. Um, it's a super perfumey. It hits the tongue. It's not good. Uh, it made me kind of nauseous when I was smoking it. This one, absolutely not. I absolutely recommend this. Absolutely. If you're trying to look for a cherry vanilla, that's fantastic. Kind of going out here because I'm, I'm ranting, but... My, my, that's delicious. You get that on the exhale. So on the, I'm sorry, so sorry for not be talking so much. I'm kind of shocked at how good this is because usually when you get something, I don't know, like when you get something in the one out, you know, in the, in the bag, you're like, oh God, here it goes. Um, that's just my personal opinion, but this this is amazing. The aroma is uh, fantastic. Um, the taste is great. I'm gonna, actually going to put this down for a minute so I can kind of talk about it. Um, so because uh, I haven't already, um, the, the it's blended by Russ Olet. I hope I pronounced that right. It's uh, manufactured by Lane Limited or Missouri Meerschaum Company. Maybe they kind of group together. Uh, it's an aromatic. Um, the strength is mild, uh, the flavoring is medium, the taste is mild to medium, and the room note is very pleasant. I would say it's a very pleasant, uh, pleasant room note. Now it says people, there's 26 reviews on here and people, there's one star review, there's two star, there's nine, two star reviews, six, three star reviews, and 10, four star reviews. I'm going to be in the, in, in the 10, in the four star category because I think this is this is great this is specifically after smoking something like this this is definitely like all right ditch this get this don't even buy this get this instead don't do it get this one so we learned something together um sorry for just kind of smoking the pipe 
Uh, I was actually very just surprised at how delicious this this tobacco was. I'm going to continue to smoke the rest of this one because um, it, it's just fantastic. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you were interested or looking at this pipe tobacco or even this holiday set, these comes together, um, you can get them on uh, tobaccopipes.com. I'll put the link in the description below. It was literally like I think 10 bucks or 15 but I forget how much it was. It was cheap though. Um, so I strongly recommend it. A uh, nice holiday gift, nice little set. Um, so super cool. And if you guys like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Don't be shy. And you enjoy the rest of your pipe. You guys have a good one. Until next video.